everybody, welcome to Newbies Work on Cars. Uh, today is a somewhat special day here. Too early for me to wake up and go, but I'm doing this for you. Uh, today there is two auctions in my small town. They are both public auctions. Uh, we got a Department of Transportation, Iowa Department of Transportation uh, auction here in Ames, Iowa. And there's another auction for a towing company for abandoned vehicles so let's go ahead and see what we can see um, I'm not necessarily interested in buying any cars but let's see what they have uh, it's supposed to be they started about 10 minutes ago but let's try our luck I thought I'll take you with me We got to the parking area. Do you see all these cars in here? They're all people are coming interested in this auction. Price is gonna be high. I'm positive a lot of things going to be over the retail price even. But it would be interesting to see the whole process and how things goes. You see all this parking lot? It's absolutely full. Wow. Usually when they start, see all these people? This is your competition. There is really, really, really way much worse than any uh, auction you would see in like uh, dealer only auctions. This is the public. So anybody and everybody can come in in this auction and buy things. Usually they would start with this uh, big equipment over here, with all these, these big trucks. Uh, they are literally starting on here on these lots. <coughs> and this is not something I'm really interested in, but why don't we go and see the regular cars or trucks that they have. Um, see what they have conditions notes they put on them you know stuff of that nature this is more like diesel creek stuff i'm i don't even think i'll have the money to buy any of those in my life but anyway it is what it is all right why don't we go in and uh, get a number all right we made it safely so later on the car is gonna go all the way around from that lot all the way to here and here's the bidding area but we're gonna go over there take a look on what they have for sale today alrighty this section over here it's for like non runners or having major issues uh, let's see what do we got here this is 189 radiator leak check engine light <clears throat> bad battery it have it's a 2015 with 197,000 miles wow wowza all right what do you got over here that's like a PPV it says salvage title airbag 4x4 so yes it's having an accident with the airbag deployed yeah that's what we got here 
Not bad of a damage, but what? What here again? 15. That's gonna get off for good money. Oh, uh, what do we got here? 187. Have issues within steerings with 174,000 miles. Bad cylinder. Wow. 141,000. So, the good thing about these, uh, this auction specifically, they will tell you exactly there's something wrong with this, with the car you're getting. It's not like they don't try to hide anything. Uh, this one have runs rough of all light, all dash lights. So, it's a gamble. You can, you have the keys in them, you can start them, you can take a look at it, and all that. But yeah, fuel leak. Anti theft alarm. Wow. Alright, these are supposed to be the runners over there, and that's the major of the auction. Alright, if you like trucks and you like the color orange, today is your lucky day. There's trucks upon trucks upon trucks upon trucks, and they're all orange. That's been used for the Iowa Department of Transportation, and that's their orange color, that's unique color they have. So anytime you're in Iowa, you see an orange truck, you know where it came from. Um, a lot of them, they use them on the highways or using them in the winter for salting the roads or going around or do duties for the Department of Transportation. So, you got to take care and take a look underneath and make sure you know the frames are good, no rust on them. Um, let's say, I noticed this one here, the first one. Let's take a look at Look over here, the fender is already start to bubble. But underneath, the frame is totally clean. So this is wouldn't be any issues, just mainly, uh, you know, been taken out or left out. What year is this thing? Looks nice and clean. It's a 2014 with 156,000 miles. For Iowa standard, this is not rust at all. This is absolutely clean underneath. You see all this stuff? This is normal here. <clears throat> all right, there are a few, two or three of these uh, HHRs in here. They're really nice and good shape, but I absolutely don't like the shape of them. So it wouldn't be an interest for me. You see, like, issues like this. That's, that will show you the flaws of some models or where they start rust and things like that. So, if you go back on the same corner on the other side, so you know that's a design flaw in this model and they will rust from here. See? Same thing on the other one same exact area so say so because these cars they sit outside most of the time and they'd be used in the winter not necessarily clean underneath or anything like that but they they take good care of the engine they say start it starts um let's go ahead let's take a look at this uh ford focus let's take a look at the info 513, 2010, 111,000 miles. You see, interesting zip ties that's uh, not, not attached to anything, just you know, zipped around the wires. Why? I have no idea. Let's take a look at the oil. There you go, there's oil. Oh, it's still here. Looks good. Alright, so oil looks good on this one. Let's see. Transmission fluid. Oh, wow. Hmm. Nice and red. Looks been serviced. Let's start it up. Look on the inside. You know. I don't think it's ever been detailed, but it's an employee's car. It's not necessarily, you know, it's not a construction car or anything. So, as you can see, the rear seat area barely used. Yeah, rear seat area 
looks like brand new fronts most likely the front too that's been used oh they took the keys dang it I came in yesterday and look at them all of them have keys in them oh well you win some you lose some but generally with these auctions you can't uh, really like move the cars you can put them you can start them Put them in drive, put them in reverse, check out the gears, but not necessarily anything else. There are a couple cop cars in there. Let's take a look at those. That would be interesting to see how much they will go for. Fourteen inside door handle broken. Ninety-three thousand miles. No issues. There is no central console. I see no indentation for cage or anything like that, but as you know, PPVs, the rear is vinyl, the front is fabric, always like this. And I think the handles are not connected, but in the back, oh, here's the console, there is a cage and some equipment, I don't know what's been used for. Let's take a look on the next one next to it. This was well, a service vehicle. You can see the lights up here. You can see the console. Everything is in there. And the same thing. Rear is vinyl, front is fabric. And the back is clean. See what the note says. What's up with this one? TPM sensor bad. 13, 133,000 miles. Yep, that will bring good money. Alright, here we go. We have an actual police car. That is 67,000 miles with a 9,200 hours on it. That's very low and that's suspiciously low. I don't know why it's here. You drove like 100, 120. And I started up yesterday. It starts right up. It's have push button. Uh, very nice interior. There's no central console. As usually with police cars, you'll see just the metal plate where they mount their uh, hardware they needed. Apparently there's some stuff over here that's been taken off. Just the basic things. And yeah, as you can see here, Interceptor 2017. So there's a bump in the back. It's been hit here before. Yeah, good tires, good everything. Suspiciously low. I don't know why. I don't know. What do you think? How much it will go for? Let's see. Another interesting one. This is, I believe, a 2019, I think it's a 2019 Impala. They say it's a total loss on it, but when I scanned the VIN, it was still it says clean title. So I don't know if they are going to give a salvage title with it or it's going to be a clean title. But everything, everything there is intact, except, as you can see, the fender here been hit. Uh, the radiator support been mangled all over the place over here, this area. On the left side, the other fender is also mangled. So you have like a whole front clip, what are you looking for? And there are a couple airbags being blown up. On the inside, you have the steering wheel and the knee airbags. But otherwise, the car is all intact and 
It runs and drives. Started up yesterday. And it was the uh, run. Started right up. Uh, let's see. It was like very low miles. Like 40 some thousand or something like that. But, oh well. What a shame. Beautiful car. What a shame. Got one of the interesting ones to me because I can afford it. <laughs> uh, this uh, 2009 Impala with uh, 90,000 miles. Very nice and clean on the inside. But as usual, the red color will have paint chips, paint bu bubble over here. Oh, tires are okay. Looks alright all the way around. Doesn't seem like it's been hit or dinged or anything. Interior is okay. Need some detailing. What's all there? And this one have the bench seat. 2009 and still a bench seat in it with the steering column uh, shifter. You don't see every day this kind of stuff. 3500 V6. Let's take uh, a walk around the, the yard and uh, that's about it. Not a lot of cars. A lot of people coming in. So I'm positive the price the price is going to be crazy. But I'll wait until the this side of the auction will start and I'll pick up filming from there. Ninety thousand on twenty thirteen. Wow. They know what they're doing. I think because the price is so high this year, they're selling cars that are not less than the usual they do. As you can see here, they tell you right right away, you know what you're getting yourself into. It's bad head. So it's need head gasket or engine replacement. Another police car. Sixty-seven thousand. Wow. You got a ding over here. Scratch, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Vinyl up front. A vinyl in the back. Fabric in the front, no central console. Let's take a look at the trunk, see if the central console is there. There's two holes. A few more on the roof. Hmm. There is no buttons on the inside to open the trunk. So, I am not seeing it at least. Oh well. See the strap in here? So when they open the door, it doesn't go all the way out. You have still more support. So, as you saw guys, today's summary, we have a lot of orange trucks. Uh, you got a bunch of Colorados, you got F-150s, you got uh, Dodge Rams, there's a couple uh, older cars, uh, a couple police cars, and again, a lot of orange stuff. So, let's wait for the auction and see how things goes. Going through the farm equipment over here farming equipment and this basically got this uh, moving auction uh, truck and he will list prices and people raise their hands 
and whoever bids the most, they will get the they will get the item. Twenty-seven twenty-eight. So two thousand seven hundred and Two hundred fifty sold. Ninety-nine or is it sixty-six? Ninety-nine. We're on ninety-two, correct? Ninety-two. Ninety-two here. So they're going by one by one at this point, and basically that's gonna take a long time from you guys. So I'll uh, turn it off for now, and I'll go back when I find something interesting. I thought I'll show you one of the big equipment auction, just so you have an idea. Here we go, Andrews in 2020. Check AC light, runs and drives. All right, what do you want to do here? I'm going to get 8,500. Give 8,500. I'm going to get 8,500. I'm going to get 7000 dollars finally coming to the non runner section that will give me like a feeler on how high the car is going to go and you know we'll see we'll go from there watch out guys you coming through hey guys this will be a 2011 model hey, you drive, uh, this truck will have a bad engine in it guys this truck should start run but it's not so a knocking engine on this one 67 diesel good luck in full truck uh, here we go. All right. What do you want to do here? You tell me. Kind of an easy deal. Give me 8,500. Give 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 8,
$4,500 for none running rusty beat up truck. Oh boy. $12,500 for a salvaged all airbag deployed runs and drives. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally now reaching the regular vehicle sections or trucks and cars and whatever. So those they will run them through over here inside this stage. So we'll go ahead, we'll take a seat, see how many people are in interested on those. Some positive is going to go way too high than it should be. But let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. And I hope I have enough charge in my phone to do so. Alrighty, let's just let's go. 2014, we're up and we're ready. And you tell me for it right here for it. I want 10,000, but I'll take a little less. 
caravan. Oh, wow. Six, 
55 here, 6 is where, 57 half, now 6, and now 6 here, and now 6 on the one, 57 half, 6 on the 57 half, 6 on the one, 67 half, 6 on the one, here, 57 half, I'm going to give you, 57 half, I'm on 6,000. 
This one have a bent frame, no front end clip, and a bent tailgate.